I'm in Birmingham, Alabama. Ah! I came home for Thanksgiving and I was like, I, you know, I committed to doing a YouTube video every week and then I got here and realized I left my camera at home. So I'm here with the same microphone I do my like outfit video fit checks with that's like $10 on Amazon and my iPhone propped up. So this is like the most amateur thing and now I realize this is off center. And yet I'm like so thrilled to record anyway. So ah, vlog. This is sweet, precious Poppy. This is uh, one of my childhood dogs that I grew up with. Uh, she's like a Yorkie poodle mix. Um, sweet angel, five pounds or less, and gorgeous, and probably be annoying me this whole video no matter what. She's needy. She's like me. <laughs> I'm gonna be with my mom for three days and then with my dad a little bit afterwards and see my brother at intermittent times throughout those, but I love hanging out with my mom because we're both such nerds and we just coffee shop hop and I'll have literally three lattes in one day and it's just this nice, slow, homey pace of life and I love being around my sweet, precious dog, which I don't know where she is. She went into the bedroom, I think. Anyway, I love it. <laughs> says that she looks like a rat dog. Isn't that really cruel? <laughs> Okay, I'm back. It's the next day. Uh, um, my phone was having all kinds of messed up storage issues. Da, da, da. I want to show y'all the outfits I brought home for Thanksgiving because sometimes I like have this tendency to dress a little different when I'm around my family or like when I'm in Alabama, which is stupid. Like you want to be the same, but I don't think the like hot, sexy, young turnt lesbian is going to go over as well at family Thanksgiving as it would like in Denver when I'm like going out to the clubs or whatever. You know what I mean? So I'm going to show you my little haul. Like I try to dress like a little more wholesome, you know, maybe a little more basic, but you know, I want to look cool, but still look gay. So I'll show you all my different outfits. First of all, the fit I have on, we have this like, um, kind of like textured sweater. This is from Abercrombie and I have these baggy fit pants. I'll show you them. Hold on. Camo is a little bit of a stretch to be wearing in Alabama because it means a totally different thing here. It means like I'm hunting and I'm not hunting. I'm a lesbian wearing Abercrombie pants. You know what I mean? Um, but I think they still look cool and for the purposes of today, like it works fine. I'll show you my other fits. I wore this one yesterday in my other video, which is like a green um, crew neck sweater that I got from Uniqlo Men's. I love this dark color green. This is like a really heavyweight, good feeling thing. It costs like $50, which is not bad for a quality piece and i'm always down to like spend money at uniqlo because i love their stuff and wear it for so long that's uniqlo men's i want to get it in more colors too um underneath that i had this white shirt sorry the glare is kind of bad because i'm using my front camera um it's just a matter of circumstance but white shirt underneath the sweater to like add a layer into also when it comes out the bottom of the sweater it adds visually like another color and like layer to things which i think looks a little bit better and then i have these abercrombie double knee workwear pants that are really thin and were perfect for like the high 60s weather that i was doing um and i'm wearing the sambas with everything because they're easy to pack and they match with literally everything <laughs> I love them and with that I was wearing my Rockies hat which has the purple brim and I think green and purple look really cool together so that was a sleigh and then I also packed just like a straight leg light wash jean these are the BDG cowboy stretch jeans from Urban Outfitters I've had these for a long time but I think everyone should just get like a straight leg jean it doesn't have to be this brand like a Levi 505 whatever it would probably be fine and then I'm gonna wear the white t-shirt I showed y'all underneath this which is like a black over shirt um it has sort of like this really soft almost felt-ish texture i got this from a uh, in-store shopping experience i did with the brand doer which has a denver location and this is really high quality shit i was so stoked to get this but isn't this just kind of like cool and like looks good and sharp without like being super loud and just like it's classic um depending on the occasion I end up wearing that I'm could wear 
a green hat, black and green, I keep wearing like together all the time. And then I also have these, this is like a medium wash jean, but it has a different cut. It's a little more of a flare and look at the crop on the bottom. These are also from Dewar. It's high waisted, so it's kind of like not super gay looking, but also a little bit and still looks tailored like you give a fuck. Um, so that's really good. Yeah, no, that's really good. Uh, listen, this is really wrinkly, but with those pants, I want to wear this. Um, this is kind of, please don't be weird. This is like a beige um, linen blend open collar shirt from the women's section of Uniqlo. I have it memorized because people ask me where it's from constantly on TikTok. It is cropped enough. Like it comes around like just below where the belt is. So it is looks really proportional. This is a size extra small though. They're super oversized and I'm 5'7". So try an extra small of this and it fits absolutely perfectly. I have it in every color. But I think like um, this kind of beige tan thing with denim looks really, really good. And that's another thing I could wear this hat with, and I have um, just some undershirts. People are always asking me about undershirts, so I guess I'll show these. If you wanna go for a cheap version at any, in the boxer aisle of Walmart, of Target, you can get just a tank like this. See how it's um, ribbed? This one is the Hanes. I prefer the Fruit of the Loom, though. The Hanes one can be like a little bit too long, and the Fruit of the Loom is a little bit shorter and a little um, thicker. If you want an actually nice one, you can go to Uniqlo Men's, get an extra small, and Abercrombie has thick ones, get an extra small. All of these, if you're smaller than me, then they're probably gonna be too big for you, so that's real shit, but that is form-fitting and fits me tight. There, there you go, there you go, we're good. And then I have just some stupid travel day clothes. I have this Arizona waffle knit shirt. I just love any waffle knit shirt. It's kind of a little bit warmer. Um, it can go with anything. I thrifted these. These are super easy to thrift. Lastly, I have this cool like graphic tee that I'm going to travel with. And I have this, um, I think it's called a popover hoodie from Abercrombie Men's. But in terms of like being really soft, I like it. It's a little not fitted. I wish the cuff on the bottom was tighter and I wish there wasn't such a drop shoulder and I like I wish it wasn't as wide but in terms of like being cozy great love it great to travel with and then I thrifted this I'm like obsessed with the blue color I think it looks so cool with like my hair I took like this quiz thing about what colors look good with you and I think the blue looks really good there's also this cool thing on the back with the numbers and stuff so I don't know it's just a cool color pop thrifted item that I have so that's what I'm wearing in Alabama so yeah bye <laughs>
I like to paint, like other stuff like that, just being creative in general. Lastly, 4,000 weeks time management for mortals. This has been like on the best sellers. Like if you go to any bookstore, this will probably be like on one of the first tables and it has been for a while. And so I've been just been wanting to read it. But then I heard some other recs like on TikTok saying it was actually legit and not just bullshit fluff that a lot of like time management stuff can be. And it kind of is written more in a narrative style, which I like. So we're going to give that a try. And that's my book haul. I'm so excited to get on the plane and read. Ah! So this is my life. This was an inside scoop. Um, I still have three more days at home. I'm going to go see my dad and do a lot of other stuff there. But other than that, enjoy these last few clips from my trip. Hello, Parker. You stopped me the last <laughs>